I told you once I'd do anything for you, I say, staring into his eyes. And I don't want to be questioned about it again. His smirk is foreplay. I move backward against the tub until the edge hits the backs of my knees. Jason takes a step forward until his chest nearly touches mine. His cologne envelops me in pheromones, and if he asks me to strip right now, I will. His feet are on the other side of mine, caging me in. His brushes against my stomach, and all it would take is one touch, and I'd explode. So, that settles it then, I say, my chest rising and falling quickly. I'm going to be your wife in every aspect of the word. His Adam's apple bobs in his throat. I want to rise up and lick it, grip his muscled shoulders, and pull him into me. He must read my mind, because he pulls a minuscule distance away. For the next six months, you're mine, he says, his voice rough. If you want out, all you have to do is ask. But until you do ask, I will treat you like I think you should be treated. How's that? The twinkle in his eye is divine. With respect. He brushes a strand of hair off my shoulder, making me shiver. With attention. His hand wraps around my neck, under my hairline. With kindness. He leans in and kisses me, just under my earlobe. Oh. I moan softly. I might melt right here. His lips hover over my ear. And I'm going to give you so many orgasms that you'll be begging me to stop, he whispers. I've kept my attraction to Jason in check for years, but nothing will stop me from acting on it now. The light is most definitely bright, glaring green. We're marrying because of the bet. We're going all in because we want to. Hell. She lays her palm on my leg precariously close to my groin. There's enough pressure to send bolts of electricity rippling through my veins, but not enough to feel satisfied. Her hair is pulled back from her face, and the front of her shirt scoops just above the top of her bra. Her nipples are hard, pebbling through the thin fabric of her t-shirt that she leaves bared for me to see. I fight a swallow, reminding myself I'm flying an airplane. The tips of her fingers tease my I snatch her hand in a snap and then bring it to my lips. Her hand is tiny, fitting easily inside mine as I press the slightest kiss to her palm. She moans softly, her eyes fluttering closed as I release her. Were you being serious earlier? She asks, opening her eyes. When you said you thought about me in the shower? And in my bed? And this plane, God knows how many times I've imagined you on your hands and knees under my desk with my c*** in your mouth while I do business. All you had to do was ask. My insides burn as she toys with me. That's illegal, I'm pretty sure. Not if I'm willing. What about on airplanes? Are those illegal? I laugh, a mix of frustration and need, as the lights of Vegas come into view. I've never been happier to see a destination in my career. November 445 Whiskey X-Ray cleared to land, Tower says. Runway 25 left, winds are 270 at 15. I repeat the information back. I take that means we're almost there, Chloe says. We'll be on the ground in a few minutes. Our gazes connect, and her smile pulls at the corners of my mouth. She's going to be my wife.